Okay guys, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different again today. It's going to be a lap comparison between the Nissan GTR GT3 race car and the Ferrari 488 GT3 race car. So we're going to do an overlay of the laps and see where each car loses and gains compared to each other and see what we might be able to do to improve the setups within these cars. So we're going to start our lap obviously for both cars going through turn one both take it really nicely the fry probably takes that corner slightly better maybe it was we did it slightly better but i think both of these laps were reasonably okay i think the nissan had a bit more left in the car as well as the fry both probably had about two three temps that they could probably gain on each um, comparing each laps anyway so they weren't ultimate laps on both car but you can see there breaking into the braking zone now and we're hitting the 50 yard ball and the nissan has actually pulled out a very slight advantage over the 488 gt3 so going through turn two and we're gonna have a little look after the acceleration zone from turn two and going into the break of turn three and see where they're stacking up as the Nissan had quite a bit of an advantage from that straight. I think that's purely because of its um, top end acceleration. So we're gonna pause it into the braking zone and we can see now look at the yellow bridge, the yellow sign above the track there. You can see where the Nissan has definitely pulled quite a big advantage from just the game from the two little straights. Going through turn three and the Ferrari definitely takes that bend a lot better now and we're going to see now instantly from just one corner the ferrari looking at the red little boards on the right on the um armco on the right the ferrari is actually caught up and it's probably slightly ahead now going under the bridge basically identical there now but now we're going to hit the ferrari territory the type of bends the ferrari really does like the two fast left handers now and we're going to have a little look after we've gone through these two fast left handers and obviously you've had a bit of an acceleration though with the Nissan might catch up slightly now but we're going to pause it just as we go through the bridge and you can see what a massive advantage the Ferrari has gained just from them two fast left handers it's quite a significant advantage that Ferrari has gained so you can see there that for tractive corners this Ferrari is really going to be a, a very strong car so go through the last two corners as well and we're going to see if the Ferrari's managed to keep its advantage it looks pretty much like it has so we're going to pause it just as we come to the end of the curb on the left there now you can see what a massive advantage the Ferrari has gained just from that last sector basically on the red ball ring so things we can improve we know that this Nissan has definitely got the top speed so what I would take from this video is I was looking at it and I was thinking well perhaps if we added another bit of downforce click to the rear of the Nissan and also adjusted the suspension to try and create a bit of extra grip and turn and ability on the Nissan we may be able to get this Nissan very close to the Ferrari I just thought it would be something interesting to have a little look at so you can have an analyze and I've just worked out to do these videos so I thought whilst I've worked out to do it, it may be a good idea to just have a little analyze of them and see, see where each car gains etc and we can do some different type of videos in the future. Anyway guys, it was just something a little bit different for the upload today. Just wanted to compare and see where the Nissan was losing its time against the 488 GC3. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe and I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks again for watching.